Let's get our development environment ready. We'll go through four simple steps to get everything up and running. First up, we need to create our Next.js application. Open your terminal and run the command npx create next app at latest, followed by the project name. Let's call it Next.js AI app. You will see a few prompts, so here's what to select. TypeScript, yes. ESLint, yes. Tailwind CSS, yes. Source directory, yes. App router, yes. Turbo pack, no, but please feel free to try it out. And customize import alias, no. This will take a few seconds to complete. Once it's done, you'll have a fresh Next.js app ready to go. With our app created, step two is installing the AI SDK dependencies. The AI SDK is modular, which means we install exactly what we need. First, navigate into the project folder. So CD, Next.js AI app. Now let's install the dependencies. npm install AI, at AI SDK slash open AI, at AI SDK slash react and Zod. AI is the core SDK package and provides all the fundamental functions we need. AI SDK slash open AI connects us to open AI's models. AI SDK slash react contains react specific hooks that we will use in our components. And finally, Zod helps us create type safe schemas, which we will use later in this course. Now, if you're wondering, what if I want to use Anthropic or Google instead of OpenAI? Well, it's simple. You just install their packages too. I'll show you how to do that later in the course, but for now, let's focus on OpenAI. Step three, we need an OpenAI API key. Head to platform.openai.com and create an account if you don't have one already. Then navigate to the API keys section and generate a new secret key. Now here's the reality. Using AI models costs money, and there is no getting around that. You will need to add billing to your OpenAI account. For this entire course, expect to spend about $10 or $20. And in my opinion, that's a bargain for learning skills that will be valuable for years to come. So go ahead, add your billing information, set up a payment method, and generate a new API key. For obvious reasons, I cannot show you my API key so I'm going to create a new secret key behind the scenes. All right, now that you have your own API key, the fourth and final step is storing it securely. Let's create a .env.local file in the project root folder. .env.local. Open the file and add your OpenAI API key. So OpenAI API key is equal to, within quotes, your API key. Now Next.js automatically includes .env.local in the git ignore file, which is exactly what we want. Never commit API keys to version control, as you want your key to be safe and prevent others from using it. I'm going to add my API key off camera. All right, time to test and make sure everything works. Start the development server by running npm run dev. Open your browser and go to http localhost 3000, and you should see the Next.js welcome page. We have set up our project and we are ready to build. Next, we'll write our first piece of code and learn how to send messages to OpenAI and display the response. We'll start simple and gradually work our way up to more sophisticated features.